What's up, y'all? So, first things first, wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving to those of you who are outside of the states or or don't know about it. It's essentially just you know like Christmas, but with no gifts. So you know you just give thanks. You appreciate what you got. You appreciate those around you. And you know, you know, happy Thanksgiving, man. You know, I think. Even though we complain, even though things are tough, even though life doesn't go our way necessarily all the time, I think it's important for us to give thanks and to be grateful for, you know, even being alive, man. I know sometimes I bitch a lot about wishing I wasn't alive and all that, but, you know, I'm here. I'm here and, you know, I haven't roped or nothing. So it must mean I want to live, right? So, you know, we should just... You know, we got to give thanks, got to be thankful. We got to be appreciative, appreciative of everything we got, all the blessings that we have, all the good things, the good fortunes that come our way, even though we may not necessarily be rich. We may not necessarily be in the best of health, but we, you know, we're alive, man. You know, a lot of younger, more healthier, more people, people with more going on than me have died, you know, and I remain and. You know, it's kind of like it's something to give thanks for, you know. But today I kind of wanted to talk to us about, you know, during these holidays, during these time, these times of the year, you kind of, you're kind of forced in a sense to be patient with yourself. You know, you got to, you got to be patient with yourself. You got to kind of slow down, you know, because, you know, everything isn't open. Everything isn't available during these times, you know restaurants businesses closed down some of you guys are off work all that type of stuff and you know you're forced to kind of slow down you're forced to kind of you know sit back and just enjoy the time you know and you know I wanted to talk about how we got to be patient with ourselves man you know we got to learn to be patient with ourselves man I know a lot of people aren't religious, you know, I sometimes am, I'm, I'm on the fence between religion and stuff, but I kind of think that, you know, God has a plan for all of us, you know, and, you know, we just have to be patient, bro, I know it sucks, I know some of you guys are wondering how much more patience you need, you know, but, you know, you gotta be patient with yourself, bro, everybody works at different paces, you know, You should never compare yourself to other people because, you know, you never know what those other people have been doing in the background. Maybe they've been working harder than you. Maybe they've been more disciplined. Maybe they maybe they're just smarter. Maybe they're just better. So you got to be patient with yourself, man. You have to not beat yourself up for not being at a certain place in life all the time. Yeah, there's a place and a time for that. And you should have ambitions and you should have goals and you should have things that you want to accomplish and you should have a fire underneath your ass. But you got to be patient with yourself as well, man. If you aren't patient with yourself, you know, no one's going to be patient with you. Everybody is always going to be on your on your on your behind to get things done quicker, to get things done more efficiently. So the only person that could slow down with is yourself, man. And what I mean by slow down is don't beat yourself up so much, bro. You know, sometimes, yeah, we want the bad bitches. Yeah, sometimes we want the, the, the cool cars. We want our own place. We want our own apartment. But everything comes out of time, man. You know, be patient with yourself. You know, if we don't learn to be patient with ourselves, man, we're going to end up getting a stroke. You know, we're going to end up having half of our face paralyzed and shit from from a stroke. Because we're always putting pressure on ourselves. We're always putting this, you know, unnecessary, you know, load on, on on our back. With this pressure that we put on ourselves because, you know, we may feel inadequate. We may feel like we're not doing enough and we want to do more. We or we feel like we're behind, but you just got to be patient with yourself, man. You have to learn how to relax sometimes and just be confident, not confident, comfortable in your own skin. 
Like, hey, man, I am what I am. It is what it is. You know, sometimes your family, they may pressure you. They may want you to do more. They may, you know, all this stuff. But at the end of the day, man, it's your life. You know, sometimes we have this, you know, cookie cutter lifestyle that we've that's put upon us. Like, oh, you have to go to college. You have to do this. You have to, you know, have a wife by 28. You have to have kids by 30. Like, no, you don't, man. No, you don't. You could do it. You could do everything at your own pace, bro. You know, that's one of the beautiful things about being born. You know, is that you have your own free will, man. At least now. You know, plenty of people have been born. They're, you know, they're slaves. They don't, they can't even choose what clothes they want to wear type shit. You know, like we got to be, we got to be patient with ourselves, man. You know, if we don't, if we're not patient with ourselves, no one else is going to be patient with us either. You know, we have to just learn to just chill out. Quit thinking about what could be, what we could be, what we could have. You know, if you're uncomfortable with your job, maybe you feel like you're underemployed. Maybe you feel like you're doing a job that you that you know you're above. Just be patient, man. You know, don't kill yourself with stress. You know, if you're working anywhere and, you know, you're you, the, the guys you want to school with, they're doctors, they're freaking engineers. Like, chill out, man. That's them. You're you. You know, we got to be patient with ourselves, man. Because if not, like I said, we're going to end up with the stroke. We're going to end up with, a, you know, getting facial paralysis and stuff. You know, life gets real, man, especially the older you get. You know, if you put all this stress upon yourself, man, you could even end up a diabetic. Now your life really sucks. You know, you could end up even, you know, driving yourself insane, man. If you have, if you put all this pressure on you and you don't learn how to be patient with yourself. You know, be patient with yourself, man. Don't let people get to you. Don't let... All these expectations from society get to you. There's, You don't know them shit, man. Your parents, you don't know them anything. Your brothers, you don't know them anything. Your coworkers, you don't know them anything. Your friends, you don't know them anything. You don't know anybody anything. You only owe yourself patience and love and care for yourself. That's, all you, that's the only thing you owe. You know, and if you're religious, you owe God a prayer here and there. A thank you. You know, but you don't owe any mortal anything. You know, sometimes, you know, when we're in these dilemmas in our life, when we're kind of like in these, you know, cross bridges, when we're in these, uh, we're hitting, you know, we're walking upon a wall. Like sometimes we we put all this pressure on us. We think life is so serious. We think life is so like real. It's not, man. This is not even that real, man. It's not really even that. Like, it's not even that important, man. If you're horny, just beat off. Really, it's that simple. You know? Sometimes I'm there beating myself up. Like, oh, man, I wish I could fuck beautiful women. I wish I could... Oh, I'm missing out. It's like, bro, just beat off. You know? So, you know, it's like, it's really not that serious, man. It's really not that serious. Life's really not that serious. Like, everybody puts this pressure on themselves... And like I said, it's good to have pressure. It's good to have you know, goals and ambitions. But goals and ambitions shouldn't kill you. They shouldn't lead you into an early grave. You know, you shouldn't you shouldn't be putting all this pressure on you, man. You know, we should just sit, sometimes we just got to sit back, view what we have and just be thankful for that. And just be cool with that for the moment and know that things come at their own pace if you're not happy with your car you're not happy with your job you're not happy with your body you're not happy with with you know your living situation give it time dude give it time because you're over here hyping up that you want something different and then life could be like oh you want something different and then it 
it, life throws you a curveball. Now life is different, but now it sucks. You know, I've had a lot of moments like that where I thought I wanted something, and then it happens, and now I'm shook. You know, now I'm even more stressed than before. You know, so be patient, bro. Be patient. Quit. Quit, quit, quit trying to do everything in one day, man. You could apply for the job tomorrow. You could, you could, you could get the interview tomorrow, man. You know, you could, you could, you could freaking, um, you could make up for, for things, man. You have time, man. You have time. You're not going anywhere. Time isn't going anywhere, bro. Don't beat yourself up. Don't think you got to do everything in one day, man. You know, you don't got to change your whole life at once. You don't got to you, you do a 180, 100%. No, bro. Take things one at a time, man. If you're trying to lose weight, you know, one pound a week, two pounds a week. You know, if you're trying to quit smoking cigarettes, you know, do one less cigarette a day each day. Don't think you're just going to quit cold turkey everything. Don't think everything's going to change in one day, bro. That's fake. That's that you're, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. If you want to start making more money, anybody that's had experience in business has seen businesses go from zero to, to something. You know damn well that, that those first months, man, they suck. People don't know you. You're barely getting your name out there. Like, give yourself time, bro. Like me with this channel. Bro, I started off at zero subscribers. And I know I only have like a thousand, but bro, like every day, one sub. Every day, one sub. They add up. For those of you that want to make videos, for those of you that want to make a channel, bro, don't don't give up just after a month. Take your time with it. With everything, bro. Quit thinking you're running out of time, dude. You have no you have no say so in that. You know, if you're in your 30s and your 40s, man, you still got plenty of time, dude. You're not old. Even if you're in your 50s, you could you're still young. You could still make things happen. But give yourself time. Don't beat don't try to think you're gonna do everything in one day, man. You know, I knew this one guy, he got like what was it? It was like some type of stomach cancer or some shit. He lost like 130 pounds. He was he was dying. He was pretty much dead. And, you know, he got the surgery done or whatever. And they fixed it, cured it, fixed it. And every day, you know, one day he was in a wheelchair. Put, trying to push himself in the wheelchair. Then the next next month he was, he was, he was trying to stand up. Then another month after that he was trying to walk on the, with, 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 the, with the help of a walker. Then he was walk. Then the next month he was walking with the help of a cane. Then he's walking on his own two feet, bro. Everything takes time, bro. Be patient. Don't, you know, use days like Thanksgiving, use days like this to just think, and and then know that it's okay. It's okay to take your time. It's okay to be slower than other people. It's okay to be a late bloomer. You're not a piece of shit. You're not a loser. You're not a fuck up. It's not over for you if you're a late bloomer. It's not over for you if you uh, haven't gotten to what you want to achieve yet in life. It's not over. There's plenty of time. There's plenty of money. Money is not going anywhere. Sometimes we got to get off the internet, bro. Who cares about Iran? Who cares about, about China? You know, who cares about Ukraine and Russia? Who cares about... Uh, Palestine and, 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 and Israel Focus on you Focus on your life Stop focusing on the on digital currency Stop focusing on all these conspiracies You know, yeah, they're entertaining Yeah, they're fun Yeah, oh man, replacement theory Oh, oh yeah, man, you know, women yeah, yeah, but sometimes, bro, just focus on you, man Focus on you and be patient with you Stop looking at all these dudes on Instagram Flashing money, flashing cars you know, you never, you never know what they had to do to get there, bro. They probably grinded. They were probably patient with themselves. They probably started off at zero. Some dudes probably got handed money from their dad. Cool, that's them. You're you. Focus on you. Focus on your mission. But be patient. Don't focus your day one 
to someone's day 3000 bro don't 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 compare your 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 shit to someone else's shit because their shit might be better than you now you're depressed just stop comparing yourself quit quit thinking that other people are better than you they're not just be patient bro just zone in just be thankful for what you got you know like me man i've gone through a lot this past month man you guys see i'm just thankful for to even be alive man life got that serious for me homie where i'm literally thankful to just have a heartbeat to just be alive to be able to have lungs like bro it's real out here dude I know a little jit, a little young straight to go to school with him. He was a good ass dude. He would try to help me. You know, he would uh, back in school. You know, he 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 told me to not try to chase this girl because she was a thought. And this fool got ran over. This fool died. Tw- early twenties. Like that type of shit, man. If you don't learn something off that shit, you know, you're just ungrateful in a sense. But just be patient, man. Just quit beating yourself up. Quit. Fuck the black pill sometimes, man. Sometimes you got to get off of that. Sometimes you got to hop into your other YouTube channel. Fuck bitches. Fuck Andrew Tate. Fuck, fuck all this shit. Just focus on you and just be thankful, man. Just be thankful to even be alive, man.